What's happening everyone? Welcome back into the Drum Central YouTube channel. My name is Dave Major and we're here with another Lick of the Week. And today I'm going to be showing you a little paradiddle extension lick chop thing. Grab the PDF that is in the description below and it all will become clear. So a paradiddle is my absolute favourite rudiment. Um, you should practice it in a myriad of different ways till the cows come home because to me it is everything that drumming is. What we're going to do is we're going to take a paradiddle and we're going to invert it. Now to do that we have four different options and we're going to choose the third option and that means that we play the double at the start. So we have this. Instead of right, left, right, right, we have right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the left sided version and start with that and I'm going to put a flam on that first note. So I'm actually going to get a left hand lead inverted flam paradiddle. There we go. So we're going to have a flam on the left followed by a left, right, left. That's our first four notes. On the hi-hat, it sounds like this. Then we're going to have a right, two lefts, ghosted, and a bass drum. That's our eight. So we're going to use this simple or single little inverted flam paradiddle and add a little bit of thing that we always play, right, left, left kick, to create a lick that's slightly longer. So just in the hi-hat, it sounds like this. Now it's up to you how you orchestrate this. Um, I've written in, I think, the right hand moving either down the toms, which is a cool one, black a do good that on, or tom, snare, floor tom for those right hands if you've got a three or a four piece kit. So to do this in context or to, to learn to improvise it, what I'd recommend is you start on the snare drum and start moving that right hand around the drums. Just nice and slow, not really thinking it's gonna go in a particular place, just seeing how far you can push it and then move the left hand, and then try and move the whole thing around and see what you can come up with. Okay, so now let's try it around the kit at a nice slow tempo of 60 beats a minute. Now a little bit faster, I'll probably do the same orchestration, it's gonna be 100 beats a minute. Now let's try it at the tempo I played at the start, which is 140 beats a minute. But I think this thing sounds really cool. A little bit faster, a little bit slower, in a different subdivision and all this sort of stuff. Now the difference between 60 and 140 is massive. So it's gonna take you a wee while to build up this particular lick and maybe you wanna practice right, left, left kick on its own and then a flam paradiddle inversion on its own to see to then glue them together. So this is gonna be 140 and I'll play it a few times and try some different orchestrations. And there we have it, a combination of two things that are very, very common to play, put together, push the tempo, try the different orchestration, and you end up with something that sounds quite original, in my opinion. So if you dug this lesson, please hit subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.